China's high-tech industry has achieved considerable development in recent years, especially in operating systems. The Harmony OS system developed by Huawei is an iconic system independently developed by China. It has been widely praised by the industry and supported by the majority of users. While Google's Harmony OS system is developing rapidly, it also poses a threat to China's operating system. In 2019, after Huawei launched its self-developed Harmony OS operating system, Google also realized that its dominance of the global mobile ecosystem was facing threats. In response to the impact of Harmony OS, Google has accelerated its own backup system Fuchsia OS. Fuchsia OS has been under development since 2016, and Google originally planned to gradually use it to replace Android in the long term. After the launch of Harmony OS, Google accelerated the promotion of Fuchsia OS, hoping to use this system to challenge Harmony OS in the field of mobile operating systems. Google intends to quickly promote the commercialization of Fuchsia OS and regain the initiative in the mobile ecosystem before the rapid rise of Harmony OS. This has become one of Google's important strategies to maintain its influence in the mobile ecosystem. However, Fuchsia OS did not achieve Google's expected results. In 2022, Google not only laid off employees on a large scale, but also basically gave up its plan to replace Android with Fuchsia OS. Fuchsia OS has not made any major commercial progress so far, and has completely failed to become a strong competitor to Android. Google has to admit that Fuchsia OS cannot reverse the passive situation of its mobile ecosystem. This spare tire system plan ultimately failed. The rise of Harmony OS has changed the mobile ecological landscape. Google's strategy of trying to regain the initiative with Fuchsia OS failed, forcing it to re-examine its own ecological development path. After the United States imposed sanctions on China, Google temporarily suspended its GMS business with Huawei, causing Huawei's smartphones to be hit hard in the global market. However, Huawei responded quickly and released an HMS service to replace Google's global management system. This move not only demonstrates Huawei's strong independent development capabilities, but also plays a strong supporting role in the development of China's operating systems. With the smooth release of Harmony OS OS, Google's dominance in the mobile operating system market has been completely destroyed. Huawei CEO Yu Qingdong even said, Harmony OS system currently has more than 700 million users, which is a considerable number. Huawei's achievements have not only brought a huge impact to Google, but also brought a huge impact to the technology industry. As Harmony OS grew rapidly, Google also became anxious and began to take action. Recently, there were news reports that Google provided Samsung with 8 billion US dollars, approximately 60 billion yuan, in order to ensure that Samsung would still install Android and Google software by default on its mobile phones, tablets, and other products. This move is obviously intended to consolidate its market share and prevent Huawei from continuing to occupy more markets. Samsung is a world-famous high-tech company with strong technical strength and strong market power. Samsung is the world's largest smartphone manufacturer. However, Samsung has adopted Google's Android system. Although Samsung has also tried to develop domestically produced Tyson, it has not achieved great success. Therefore, the purpose of Google giving Samsung a large amount of money is to cooperate with Samsung to consolidate its dominance in the system field. 
Google's $8 billion acquisition of Samsung is definitely a major turning point for the development of operating systems in China. This marks that the independent research and development level and technological level of Chinese technology companies around the world are gradually being recognized by the world. On this basis, the development of China's mobile communication system faces greater development space and opportunities. However, if China's operating system wants to go global, it still needs continuous investment and development, as well as the construction of an ecosystem. On the other hand, the government should increase support and guidance for China's operating system industry to promote its healthy development. China's operating system companies need to increase research efforts on software development, increase software development efforts, improve software usage efficiency, and improve software usage efficiency. On this basis, it is necessary to strengthen cooperation with upstream and downstream enterprises in the industrial chain to form a complete industrial system. At the same time, China must also communicate and cooperate with foreign technology companies to promote the promotion and use of Chinese operating systems around the world. On this basis, we will further increase the training of R&D personnel to lay a solid foundation for the sustainable development of China's operating system industry. Driven by Harmony OS, the mobile ecological landscape is undergoing profound changes. This has brought major challenges to the long-dominated Android ecosystem. As the Harmony OS ecosystem becomes increasingly complete, Huawei devices equipped with this system will also return to the top of the list. This will surely break Android's control over global smartphone shipments. At the same time, emerging systems such as Vega OS and Aurora OS are also on the rise. The Android ecosystem is facing unprecedented competitive pressure. Maintaining ecological dominance has become a serious issue that Google and related companies must face. In general, the rise of China's operating system has brought new challenges and opportunities to the world's technology industry. China's operating system companies should seize opportunities, actively respond to challenges, and enhance their core competitiveness and independent innovation capabilities. On this basis, the state should increase guidance and support for China's operating system industry and lay a solid foundation for its healthy development. If China's operating system wants to gain more success and growth in the world, what do you think about this?